Sardinia, the second largest island in the Mediterranean, has been inhabited since the Paleolithic, but its defining cultural and genetic history begins in the Neolithic. Around 600 to 500 BCE, farmers from Anatolia and the Aegean crossed into the western Mediterranean. These early agriculturalists brought domesticated plants, animals, and farming techniques, and their descendants became the ancestors of the island's inhabitants. Genetic studies show that modern Sardinians preserve some of the highest levels of Anatolian Neolithic farmer ancestry in Europe, more so than mainland Italians, Iberians, or Greeks. Take a look at this QPADM model. According to it, Sardinians are around 61% Anatolian Neolithic farmer, 16% Iranian Neolithic farmer, 9% Natufian, and 14% Western hunter-gatherer. Unlike much of Europe, Sardinia was relatively insulated from large-scale migrations during the Bronze and Iron Ages, such as Indo-European expansions and later steppe migrations. As a result, Sardinians today are often described as a genetic time capsule, preserving lineages that closely resemble those of early European farmers. This makes them a key population in studies of European prehistory. Sardinian ancestry can be broken down into roughly 55% Zudzwana, 7% excess basal Eurasian, 21.1% West Eurasian, and 17% Ancient North Eurasian. Sardinians have the lowest Ancient North Eurasian admixture in Europe. According to FST analysis, the closest ethnicities to Sardinians are North Italians, followed by the Spanish and Albanians. Strangely, Sicilians come even after Albanians, likely due to the large portion of East Mediterranean ancestry in Sicily. For this video, I've gathered the genomes of 12 ethnic Sardinians from Ryklab's adderplus.ho dataset. I used my trait predictor tool to analyze their genomes. The most common predicted IDNA were E1B and I2, although one sample carried the Indo-European lineage R1B. The most common predicted phenotypes were Bakid and East Alpinid. Eye colors ranged from medium brown to blue, but the majority of the samples had either brown or dark hazel eyes. No sample was predicted to have green or hazel eyes. The majority of the samples had dark brown hair, but there were two samples with black hair and one sample with dirty blonde hair color prediction. Hair textures ranged from wavy to kinky, no sample was predicted to have straight hair, and curly hair was the most common type. Almost every sample was predicted to have a Greek nose shape, with the exception of one sample. Every sample scored the highest possible score for the risk of male pattern baldness. The Sardinians had high odds of autism, mostly were lactose intolerant, had lower empathy levels, and surprisingly, not a single sample scored high for the risk of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes. The Sardinians had high odds of depression, low odds of bipolar disorder type 1, and average odds of Alzheimer's disease. They scored surprisingly low for levels of LDL cholesterol. West Eurasians tend to score higher for LDL cholesterol with my trait predictor. Their score for HDL cholesterol was quite typical for West Eurasians. The Sardinians had average odds of atrial fibrillation and low odds of a wide range of cardiovascular issues. Although there is quite a spread when it comes to the statistic, two outlier samples have polygenic risk scores of 1.47 and 1.35 for this trait. The Sardinians were predicted to have elevated glucose levels, had average odds of type 2 diabetes, and average odds of syncope. The Sardinians scored exceptionally low for odds of allergies. Most didn't carry any risk variants for polycythemia vera in the JRK2 gene. The distribution of testicular cancer risk variants in KITLG were typical for Europeans. They exhibited a below average predisposition to hemoglobin E disease. The Sardinians scored average for odds of corneal astigmatism. When it comes to blue yellow colorblindness, over half of the samples carried risk variants for it in the OPN1 SW gene. Half of the samples carried risk variants for celiac disease. The most common predicted blood types were A and O. You can purchase their genomes from links in the description of the video. There, you will also find links to my tools and services.